Got some spy photos of the upcoming Kia EV4, so if you want to see them, stay tuned. But don't tell anybody else. So all kidding aside, I do actually have some photos I want to share with you guys. Now, I'm not sure exactly where these originated from. There is a uh, watermark on them from a Korean YouTube channel. And when I translate from Korean to English, it translates to Eden Kaspich. So credit goes out to Eden Kaspich. And then the website where I saw these was originally from autospy.net. And the user that posted those is Charcoal Black but I think he just took these screenshots from the original video. At any rate, the Kia EV9 midsize SUV still hasn't hit the market here in the United States. It should be going on sale before the end of 2023. Earlier this year, Kia did share some concept photos of their upcoming Kia EV5, which is a step down from the EV9 in terms of size. And now these photos we're seeing are of the Kia EV4, which will be even smaller than the EV5. Think kind of Kia Seltos size, probably even a little bit bigger than the Nero EV, but this is gonna be in Kia's EV lineup. Um, so it's going to have the same architecture as the EV9, the EV5, which is gonna be their 800 volt architecture that charges from most likely 10 to 80% in 18 minutes. And it is gonna be just a big step up from that Nero EV. Should be priced pretty similarly, so this honestly might be more of a replacement for the Nero EV. Um, I'm all for that because I think at this point, the Nero EV is kind of starting to look a little long in the tooth, even though it was just refreshed, but it's still more or less the same car it was three or four years ago. But anyway, let's take a look at these photos. It's funny, all these spy photos seem to be from like the exact same parking garage. And I don't know if this is like on Kia's property or where one of the people who tests them lives. I don't really know how that works there, but you can see it is covered in the uh, camouflage material that, that kind of hides the shape of the car. But looking at it from this front angle, you can see that the headlights do look very similar to that of the EV9, those vertical rows of LEDs. So it does put it in family with the EV9. Uh, you can see the blacked out A pillar here, which is another trademark of the EV9. And you can kind of tell it's a very upright car versus the Nero, which is probably a little bit lower than this. You can also see on the front here, there's an opening for what appears to be a radar sensor down below on the lower side of the bumper. And it looks like there's some openings for some ultrasonic front parking sensors. Something I'm not really seeing though on the front end is any major place for air to enter into the radiator system for cooling and warming the battery pack. So not really sure what that's about. Um, the car still needs cooling, but um, there is like a small little opening around that radar panel. But other than that, there's not much there. So I'm not really sure what this thing is using for cooling, but there's not much going into it. Now looking at it from the passenger back corner, you can see this thing has a very squared off rear end. So this could have a lot of cargo space versus some other vehicles in this class. That's nice to see. You can see it does have power folding side mirrors and it does have a really interesting light design on the outside edge of those side mirrors. I haven't seen something like that on a Kia before. But looking directly from the back, there are ultrasonic rear parking sensors and you can see that flat new Kia emblem, shark fin antenna up top. I can't really tell from this photo whether or not there is a rear wiper there. Maybe that kind of silvery thing right there might be a wiper, but you can't really tell. Looking at the wheels on this, they are 21550R19s from Hankook, and this is Hankook's um, EV specific tire, the Ion series. So it looks like Kia might be moving on to Hankook's dedicated EV tires, which I think would make sense because Hankook is a Korean brand. So it makes sense that they would partner with another Korean company on tires. I'm not sure I'm digging these uh, wheels here. I'm not crazy about these uh, kind of knife looking inlays in them. Now this photo here, looking from the passenger side back right corner, Looking at the tail light, you can see it looks very similar to the design that we saw on the EV9. So this is also keeping it in family with the EV9. Uh, since the EV5 was more of a concept, it's kind of hard to say that it's in family with that, but this is definitely in family with the EV9. Something I'm noticing here while looking at the camouflage, as you go around the car, the only spot I can really see where there is an opening 
for the charge port is on the front quarter panel on the passenger side. You can see there's a flap here that has some Velcro attaching a smaller flap to it. Maybe Kia is moving the charge port to the front corner of the car. This would allow the car to take advantage of Tesla superchargers here in the US because that port placement is pretty similar to the back driver's side of any other Tesla. So maybe they're getting ready for that inevitable switch to NAX and to be able to use the Tesla supercharging network here in North America. So fingers crossed for that. Personally, I still think it would be better to be on the back of the driver's side of the car, just because when you get out of the car, you're already on that side of the car. You don't have to walk around to the other side. That's one thing that kind of annoys me about the Ionic 5 is when I want to plug in, if I back into my garage, I gotta walk around the front of the car, plug in, and then walk back around the front and then go in my house. Looking at this side profile photo of the car, it looks like there's a little notch kind of halfway up the window. That appears like it might be the door handle. Maybe you push like a flap in and pull the door out right there. But because of the flap over the driver handle, you can't really tell what's going on there. But if it's anything like the Kia EV9, it will have flush mounted door handles. That's about all I'm really seeing from the exterior views, but they did also provide some photos of the interior of the car, so let's look at those. So you can see it does have the same headrest style as the rest of the Kia EV lineup. Looks like on the seat backs you do have a USB-C port. Um, I don't really like this seat design. That's just me. I think they look very strange. Now all these straps and everything you're seeing on the door panels, that's all what's holding the uh, camouflage onto the exterior of the car. This car does appear to have an all cloth interior with an interesting pattern. Looks like a little bit of a light blue insert in the middle. Uh, folding rear armrest. You can see a speaker grill on the bottom of the rear passenger door. It definitely looks less cockpit-like than the uh, Kia EV6. The windows in the back here don't really taper down to a point. But that's about all we can see from these photos. I'm not seeing anything that really completely stands out from any other Kia. Now there is another photo of this car outside in the real world posted on autospy.net by a user called Killer1984. It appears to be the same car. It looks like it's the same color, same wheels. Um, not really much else to see here, but I did want to show you guys a photo of it outside. I find it kind of interesting with these test mules that they don't put really dark tinted glass on them. Instead, they just leave them open and they put these pieces of paper on the windows that say, no photographs, please. And it just seems like it doesn't really work because these cars are always getting photographed. And I don't know what the laws are in Korea about that, but it doesn't seem like anything's really happening to deter people from doing this, which I'm totally fine with. This user, Killer1984, does say that it's said to be that the price of this is gonna be $30,000 or less. I really hope this car does come in at that price. If this thing does sticker for $30,000 or less before any federal incentives or lease incentives now, um, this thing could be a killer deal. This thing would definitely fill that void that is being filled by the Chevy Bolt temporarily before they bring it back on the Ultium platform. It hasn't been announced yet, so I doubt it's going on sale at least in the near future. Maybe it'll go on sale next year, the EV5 is also supposedly going on sale next year. So there could be really three good options from Kia next year. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, if you guys like taking a look at these spy photos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.